Hey everybody, this is the first video for section 2.2 where we are going to look at the limit of a function and the limit laws. So first, we'll start out with the idea of the limit of a function. And the big question to keep in mind when we're going through these type of problems, or the big idea for this concept, is how does f of x behave near a certain value of x? That's what we're going to be asking ourselves, and that's what we're going to be really looking at when we do this. So we're, we'll just jump right into it here with our first example. How does f of x equals x cubed minus 8 over x minus 2? How does that function behave near x equals 2? Okay. So in order to get a picture of this function's behavior, we're going to just start out by making a little table of values here. Um, nothing crazy. This is the standard algebra stuff going on. Um, we'll plug our x values into the function. So like plugging in 3, for instance, 3 cubed minus 8 over 3 minus 2. All right, we would get... 19 for that, and that's one of the few that we can do by hand. Um, for these values with decimals, we'll just use a calculator to plug those in. So at this stage, go ahead and pause this video for a second and fill in the rest of the tables here. Um, see what you get for these other values of x. So pause right now and then come on back to it. Okay, so you're back from your pause now. You've got your table of values completed. And let's fill in the values here, what you should have found at least. Um, when we plug in x equals 2.5, get a f of x value or y value of 15.25. And then plugging in 2.1, you get a value of 12.61. Plugging in 2.01, you get a value of about 12.1. I didn't write any other decimal places down, so that's close enough, I guess. <laughs> and then 2.001, plugging that in, we get 12.006 is what I have. Okay, so you might wonder, okay, like, why did we choose these particular x values? And that goes back to what we're looking at in this original question. We're trying to see how this function is going to behave near x equals 2. Okay, so our x values that we're plugging in here are getting closer and closer to 2. All right, we're going from 3 to 2.5 to 2.1, 2.01, 2.001. So we're edging in closer and closer to x equals 2. All right. And just to make sure we're all on the same page here, why can we not just plug in x equals 2? And you would answer that, and hopefully you would say that it's because the function is undefined. Yeah, if you try to plug in x equals 2, you would get 0 in the denominator, and that is no good. You would get 0 divided by 0, which is still totally undefined. Yeah. So we can't plug in 2 directly, so we're just plugging in some values to get us really, really close to x equals 2. So here we kind of came at x equals 2 from above, from values that were bigger than 2, all right, even just by a little bit. And then, you know, as we're getting close to or near x equals 2, we could also come at that from values that are smaller than 2. So that's what the other table was for. Um, we came in with x equals 1. You should have gotten a value of 7 for that. 1.5. Gives you 9.25, 1.9 gives you 11.41, 1.99 gives you 11.94, 1.99 11 
Again, there might be some more decimal places after those, but that's good enough for right now. 1.999 gives us 11.994. Okay, so this is approaching two from values that are a little bit smaller than two. All right, 1.999, pretty darn close to two, but it's still a defined value for our function. Okay, so let's see what is going on here with a little graph. Okay, so I'm going to set up some axes for us. I don't need too much on the x-axis here because um, we really only care about what's happening near x equals 2. Okay. And y-axis, let's get this set up. All right. There we go. So we're set up here. Now, remember, first things first, we couldn't actually plug in x equals 2. All right, because f of 2 is undefined. Okay, so we don't want to put a point where x equals 2 on our graph. All right, that would look like we want to put a hole in the graph right there. But we don't really know maybe where to put that hole entirely. Um, so let's plot a couple other points around there. All right. At x equals 3, we have a value of 19 up here. x equals 1, we have a value of 7. That's nice and solid. And then I'll, I'll do my best to plot a few of these other points. Okay, 2.5, there's 15. Okay, so that would come in like this. All right, 2.1, that's getting really close to 2 on the x-axis. Um, and then we're at 12.61. I think I might have screwed up that point right there. Okay. All right. 2.001 comma 12.006. That, those are too precise for my um, kind of wonky graphing. So... That is just going to get really, really close um, there. Let's see. Uh, what else could I plot? I could do 1.5, 9.25, 9.25, 9.25, 9.25, 9.25, 9.25. Okay. The point still looks a little weird. Probably because my axes are a, a little off here. Um, but we're basically plotting these points, and as we get closer to x equals 2, like in this region here, notice what the y value is getting closer to. Um, the y value is getting really close to 12. So our f of x value, what the function is doing, what it's approaching as we get close to 2 on the x-axis is 12 on the y-axis. So that's actually where our hole in the graph is going to go. At 2, 12, there's a hole right here. So that's showing that the function is still undefined there, but that is where the values are headed. Okay, now if you were to fill in the rest of this graph, um, it turns out that it's just a, a parabola type shape. Right. Um, something like this. Okay, it's a parabola with a hole in it. Um, if you use an online calculator, some of them will show that hole where the function is undefined, some of them will not. So we have to be able to be smarter than the calculator and to know that the function is undefined there. But as far as answering our question, how does f of x behave near x equals 2? Well, the f of x values are approaching 12. 
as we come in from either direction, the f of x or y values here are all going toward the y value of 12. Okay, so we could say as x approaches 2, like we were showing in our table with the x values, f of x, those values are approaching 12. Okay, so that's the conclusion for this problem. Um, the function values approach 12 as x gets close to 2. All right, now we'll look at what that means mathematically and what the definition is for all of this in the next video.